Okay. Winter.
Indeed. <laughs> well, yes. Let us go. Hold on a sec. What is it?
What's the meaning of this? Wait, what? I see. Oh. Do you have time? Sorry. Thanks. Take care. It's so cold. Hmm. Senpai? Um... I'm sorry.
What would you like to do? I agree. I love that place. I see. Make sure you close up. My apologies for calling so late. This is Maruki, by the way. I'm actually rather close by. Would you mind lending me an ear? There's something important we need to talk about. And if you do intend to confront me, I believe there's something you have to give me first. Thank you. I'll be at the cafe shortly. See you later. I caught all of that. Just as we suspected, he knew he'd have to get a calling card. I have no clue how this meeting is going to go down. Hey, uh... Just make sure you keep your guard up, okay? Sorry for the last-minute visit. How's Yoshizawa-san holding up? I've been concerned about a potential relapse, considering her difficulties with accepting this reality. You know, I would love for that to be the truth, but people can't maintain their strength forever. So, getting down to business. I wanted to confirm with you one last time. Is there no other way to come to an agreement besides fighting? The reality I created may seem distorted from your point of view, but it's a reality where everyone is happy. If you just stay, you'll never have to suffer the pain of loss, or the pain from having people and things stolen away from you. So, you saw what happened with Rumi. I'm not the one who suffered. She is. But she's still living a wonderful life right now, in this world you call a distorted reality. But she still doesn't remember you, right? And you're fine with that? She may not be in my life anymore. But at least her own life is a happy one now. I'm not just doing this for Rumi. I want all of you to live just as happily as she is. 
But for Rumi's happiness to last, I have to move on. After all that's happened to her, to me, I just can't drag her into it. Doc. My stance will not change. Strange circumstances have led to my gaining this power. However, I now recognize it as being wholly inevitable. This is something only I am capable of doing. I promise. Every person alive will be happy in the world I create. So let me ask you the same. After really considering every option, do any of you have doubts about your views? Once somebody experiences their ideal form of happiness, it's extremely difficult to leave that feeling behind. Enough, Maroki. We've already made up our minds. We're rejecting your reality. Really? The entirety of it? Consider Akechi-kun. Selfish adults abused his weakness to do horrible things, culminating in his confrontation with the Phantom Thieves. It was all over. You, you bastard! So... so. My final enemy is a puppet version of myself. Not bad. Were you satisfied with what fate dealt you? I can't imagine so. That's why I created a reality where you could all have another chance to make it work. Get what I'm saying? If this reality were to disappear, then he could be... I genuinely didn't want to tell you like this. I didn't want to make it seem like I'm holding him hostage. But no matter what you may think of me, I just want you all to accept this reality and move on with your happy lives. Please, please accept my gift. For your friend's sake and your own. <sighs> I see. That's just like you, isn't it? And you... You were the one person I wanted on my side the most. You were the guiding light to my research. You showed me the way so I could make my dream into reality. I have nothing but gratitude for you. Not a single ounce of ill will. All I've wanted was to give you happiness. But if this is where we are, then this is where we have to be tomorrow. Tomorrow we summon everything we have and see whose will for the world is stronger. Ah, that's right. Now it's official. I have heard your calling. We can't lose, no matter what. All right, we're all here. It's time, our final battle. Maruki came by LeBlanc last night, so we gave him the calling card. I doubt Maruki is still interested in discussion. You realize there's no backing out now, right? <laughs> Ain't no way we're gonna run now. We're gonna confront Doc in his palace, show him what's up, and go back to our own reality, right? Right. It appears we're all ready. It's time to take back what belongs to us. Our own reality.
I should write something. Thank you for coming. It looks like I have your answer. Indeed. No more hesitation. Let's begin. If you win, my heart will be changed. However, if I win, my reality becomes the true reality. I will overwrite all of existence with my own cognition. I'm not holding back anymore. W what the? Just as you have your own beliefs, I too have no intention of changing my plans for reality. No matter what happens to me in the end, I will fix this torturous world. That is my own rebellion. Is apparel just... And I believe you called forth your power like this. Persona. No way! So Maruki really does have a persona. I'd regret not pointing this out to you. You shouldn't mistake our powers as being equal. It's time, Azathoth. Our final battle has come. My persona guides me. Dr. Maruki. I have to do this. Incoming, guys. Get ready. Persona! You're mine. Knocked him right out there? The Persona protected him? This Persona's definitely trouble. Yours. All right, Yours. on to the next. Part four. Show your might, Diego! Time for my persona! Diego! One enemy on the floor! Bonafide, bonafide! Get off! Oh, that's my Onto cue! I'll break them! Not 
Gun! So let's move on. Huh? He's getting stronger? Be careful! Here I go! Speed up! Let's go. <laughs> Morgana kun, I know how you truly feel. And there's no need to fear your differences anymore. Don't worry. You don't have to explain anything to me. All I have to do to help you is merely imagine it. I don't care what I look like anymore. I'm always going to be myself. Come! Go down! If you pass the baton, 
and you can hit the foe's weaknesses. We've almost won! Right, Don't them. baton and switch attackers! <laughs> Persona! Thor! Go down! Let's go! You're mine!
Son, everyone has the right to wish for a happy family. You don't need to keep holding back your desires. I'll fulfill my desire for a happy family with my own power. Just say the word. I'd run if I could. Persona! Persona! <laughs> Think it through. 
You're mine. I suggest we run! I'd run if I could. Let's go. Good thinking. Payback Rose time! up again! It's payback time! What's the hold up? I appreciate it. Kun, don't throw away your life. If you're with him and his friends, you can begin to atone for what you've done. Enough of this high and mighty bullshit. You're pissing me off! Come! Go down! Every one of your dreams, not a single person is in pain here. Everyone is happy. Why would... I'm not done. There. Thank you. Joker, your health is low. Watch out! Time to use this. It got a death wish. Hmm. 
make a decision. Here. Some other way. <laughs> I can't deny that you're all strong, but that's exactly what's making you suffer. It's time to end this. I'm going to save all of you! Skull, be careful! I'm picking up multiple readings beneath you! It's 
time. Ravage them! Whew. Sorry about that. Your opponent is strong. Don't do anything reckless. Time for my persona! Running. Running would make life so much easier for your mother. I can make that dream your reality. Yeah? Well, too bad for you. I'm done running away from my problems. Come! Go down! Joker. Using this. It didn't work. Persona! Bam! Still in trouble. <laughs> Sona, 
Ravage them! Kamaki-san, didn't you always want to protect your friend? Don't... We're... We're both going to keep living our lives on our own strength! Our power. What the? What are they doing? Be careful. I'm sensing a ridiculous amount of energy from his persona. Joker, you all have to guard this. <laughs> Difficulty of accepting, please.
Persona! Ravage them! Knocked them right off their feet! Nice, Joker! Persona! Hold on. Up to you. Alright, there, on to the next! Let's do this! I have my friends by my side in this world. I don't need another world forced upon me. Persona! You're mine. <laughs> This is mine. This is my other self. Stop the swaying. I suggest we run. I thought his health is really low. You have to be careful. Awaiting orders. Sorry, I'm at my limit. Here! Messiah! 
Go down! Nice one, Joker! You hit its weakness! Fox's health is really low. You have to be careful. Let's go. Be perfect. Oratorio! Thanks. Good thinking. Thank you. Persona! Show your might! Get up! Not bad. Snap out of it! Thank you! Persona! Get up, right. Queen! On you to that! Persona! Prepare yourself! I'll use my Persona! Take that! Not bad. Let's go. It's Maruki's treasure. What is it, though? A torch? A torch is a light to guide people. It may symbolize his perception of himself as the guide for the entire world. We're here to change his heart, aren't we? Go on. Take it. So... This is it. Place is collapsing. We'd better take our leave. Rumi, I'm sorry. I couldn't. No, I. I can still. Joker, look out! Damn it! We gotta book it. Guys, jump in!
That was close. Dr. Maruki... This has gone too far past changing someone's heart. Is he even still alive? Looks like that isn't a concern. Sorry, but I won't admit defeat just yet. I'm sorry. You know I can't do that. I've been chosen by the world itself. Granting this wish is my responsibility! The hell? Uh, he just... the treasure! his persona such strength of will if it is for everyone's happiness I don't care what happens to me don't resist accept it with my power no with mine and Adam Catmon's together our reality is nigh persona guides me to let it end like this. Adam Kadmon, guide us all to our ideal reality. You're wrong. Yeah, we refuse to let it end any other way too. Persona! Persona! There. Not bad. Persona! Let's go. Let's go. Adam Kadmon, lend me your strength. Persona! I can't... Fall! Thank you! Good thinking! Much thanks! Okay. 
right before my eyes. I'm sorry. I said I didn't care what happened to me. But I guess... I wasn't committed to my words. You too, huh? Uh, uh, Crow Senpai, what are you? Can you tell? You think the same thing, don't you? Of course you do. After all. We hesitate right now. We die. Uh, uh, <gasps> Up there! <laughs> I'm all yours. Use me however you want. Now, show us the reality. The reality we wish for. <laughs>
I will be the light that guides mankind. But we are still not going to run. We're going to beat you and go back to our own reality. That's the spirit. Now let's finish this. It's time. Reverberate. Oratorio! Nice timing. Joker! 
gave up everything else. I dedicated all that I have to this, but I still... Why? You mean, I'm running away from it all? <laughs> you nailed it. It's true that I turned my back on the original reality. But where's the harm in that? When it grows to be too much, too painful, every person deserves to escape that. <sighs> in all honesty, it's best for a person's growth when they tackle their own hardships. But reality doesn't always make that so feasible. No matter how much you try or work for so long, the smallest injustice can wipe it all out, leave you with nothing. Don't you, of all people, understand that? <sighs> We're not saying you're wrong there. Living with this guy's made me realize that life in the actual reality can be way too cruel sometimes. Still, did he run away from his life because of that? No. He gained more friends and more personas. Now he's such an incredible phantom thief, even you and all your godlike powers respect him. <sighs> you know, there probably are plenty of people who'd ultimately benefit from your reality. But what about the people who want to take on the world themselves? How's it right to rob them of their opportunities? Oh, Mona-chan! There's something I've learned after all we've been through. Even if humans can't stand on their own, they can still do it with the help of their friends. Don't steal the potential away from humanity. You act like this is going to help everyone, when it's really just you giving up on them. I've given up on everyone. Huh? Looks like I'm totally finished. trapped as well huh? is there any way everyone get over here hurry <clears throat> Helicopter. If you could do this, then say so, damn it! Well, I didn't know! 
Now I'm downright priceless to the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your little moment of triumph, but couldn't you have made yourself just a bit larger? <laughs> hey, where'd Joker go? Don't worry. Sorry to cut your flight short like that. This place is done for, along with the entire reality I dreamed of. I... have lost. Even if I were to try that fight over, I'm sure I'd only lose again. So I know, this is going to sound pretty stupid. I've been holding this all in for so long just hiding it for myself. So, please, help me kill every last one of my regrets. You're the only one I can ask to help me with this. The disappearance of my palace of the entire metaverse is drawing near. Seems like neither of us can summon our personas anymore. Let's begin. I gave up everything! Everything! So why? Reality where no one suffers. I'm done. I get it now. All thanks to you. I'm done. Please, let go of my hand. Your eyes are as bright and honest as ever. You keep your head up no matter what. 
I must have always been afraid. Afraid you and I wouldn't wish for the same reality. <laughs> So bright. <laughs> Magnificent. We have indeed witnessed your decision. Not only have you taken back mankind's future for itself, but you've also re-established our reason for existence. While reality had been wholly distorted, your actions have guided it back towards what it ought to be. That is correct. Time itself cannot be rewound. But every past event will revert to the event that should have occurred instead. I'll ask you once more. I'd like for you to turn yourself into the police, of your own accord. Indeed. Once you leave this room, you will find yourself in... Have you begun to regret your decision? I see. Then it would be rather uncouth of me to keep you here any longer. Choosing such a path must not have been easy for you. For that, you have our utmost respect and gratitude. Kachikun and he be. We've literally looked everywhere. This is our original reality, right? I believe so, yes. The meta nav is gone. We don't even have a way to check anymore. At any rate, there's no point in worrying about it here. We should work all of this out somewhere else. You're right. Now that I think about it, we've been out all night too. So let's go to Leblon. Huh? Samire, let's go! Oh, right! Hmm? I'm home. You didn't tell me you'd be out all night. You should have at least gotten in touch with me about it. I'm sorry, Sojiro. We're the ones who kept her out so late. We should be apologizing for her. And we're all back so early in the morning. We're awfully sorry. Stop apologizing so much. Being worried isn't exactly on my list of favorite activities. But I assume you had a good reason for it, right? Um, have you seen him at all lately? Uh, him? What are you bringing him up for? You know what his deal is right now, Sojiro? Well, yeah. He's been locked up since last year. Locked up? What's going on? What are you guys talking about? Well, I was gonna ask you that, but now I'm getting a strange feeling that I've been seeing him until fairly recently. Anyways, why don't you all take a seat before I go over his situation? So, he's in juvenile detention? Well, I need to stock up on a few supplies before I open up shop. Feel free to hang out here while I'm out. Thank you. So, this is our original reality, right? Or are we in another different one now? You know, these 
unexpected changes could actually be the end results of our actions in our own reality. Remember how he was originally planning on turning himself into the police? Then Akechi-kun did it for him instead. But that took place in Dr. Maruki's reality, which means he's currently... So everything that would have happened if it weren't for Dr. Maruki, now it's actually happened? You know, what y'all are saying is starting to make sense. But in that case, in the real reality, uh, I, I mean, the reality we're in right now, what happened with Morgana and Akechi? Don't say it. Just like with my mom. No more Ghanas. Did someone say my name? This again? Recycled gags suck! Why do you always have to get us all worried like that? How are you here? Looks like it really was just the metaverse me who disappeared. Eventually, I woke up in Shibuya. Getting all the way back here took some time. Come on, don't scare us like that! Oh, uh, but wait! Does that mean Akechi's... What is it, Mona-chan? Well... About him... No... I can't believe akechi son's really... What the hell? He just disappeared... Without saying anything... So he's incarcerated... And Akechi is... I thought I'd braced myself for the decision we made, but... This truly is a harsh reality. We all decided to live our real lives and look to the future from here. But even so... I... I just can't accept Senpai being stuck behind bars. Why don't we try to help him somehow? Nice! I'm impressed with the idea. Yeah! We won't put up with this injustice! But... What can we do to actually help him get out of there? I remember Sis telling me a while ago, in order to overturn a sentence, you need definitive evidence that proves the subject's innocence. So what you're saying is, we just gotta find that evidence, right? Then we're on the case! There's no time for us to waste. We're going to show off what the Phantom Thieves are capable of. One last time. That's right! Let's go! We're gonna save our leader no matter what it takes! Yeah! Yes. Really? Now that we know the name, all we need is an address. You're right. We'll succeed if we all do it together. Sis has yet to say anything, but I believe she's looking into possible actions as well. As for me, I will look into every viable solution. Thanks. Make sure you give my regards to Shiho-san. Oh, could we try getting their help as well? I'm sure they would gladly cooperate. That would be a great help. I'll leave that to you. Mm -hmm. We'll talk again tomorrow. Let's save him. No matter what. P please, I, I beg of you. Please help me collect enough signatures. I want to help a friend who's innocent. He's a really good guy. He always fights for the sake of others. He's... He's my best friend! So basically, the reason why we were able to come to our senses is because he saved us. And now he's in a crisis himself. I believe it's our turn to save him this time. But our words alone won't reach anyone. That's why I need Yokota-san and everyone's help. Won't you please, protest the police with me? Please! Look at the guy ranked number one in these rankings. Isn't his score amazing? I really want to go up against him. But I heard he's been arrested for some crime he didn't commit. But I can't help him out with just myself alone. We need tons more people's voices, like on online forums and getting signatures and stuff. You have to say with me that it makes no sense that he's been arrested when he's done nothing bad. 
Please, please help him out. You escaped the prison of the heart only to be imprisoned in reality. What a most ironic outcome. Your wish for others' happiness prevailed over your own. However, I feel as though all is finally well. In the end, you willingly chose the correct path. Most importantly, you never compromised your values for your own well-being. The final arcana you have acquired is the world. It is the power for an individual to stand on their own two feet, swayed by none. That power shall fuel the hope shared amongst your friends and yourself to strive towards a better future. With the world, you are no longer without a place to belong and will never trudge a path alone again. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest. Long time no see. We met last on Christmas Eve, right? Uh, it, never mind, it, it's nothing. I have two great pieces of news for you today. First, we finally managed to prosecute Masayo Shishido. He'll likely be found guilty. I'm grateful for your cooperation with the trial. Your testimony proved to be very useful. To be frank, it seemed almost hopeless at one point. But thanks to the civil protests, some of the more indecisive prosecutors came to our side. It will likely be some more time until the hearing begins, but this is the first step to true change. The only charges right now are for breaking election laws, breaking funding control laws, and bribery. I knew that proving the metaverse's existence would be difficult, but I still find myself dissatisfied. Shido did admit to all of his crimes, though, including everything you know about. Now for the other piece of good news. As of today, you'll be free to go. That's right. Shido's confession brought light to the truth of your case. We were able to prove your innocence in the original assault charge that led to your arrest. Your sentence will no doubt be rescinded. You're a free man. The others did everything they could for you. Bringing in the woman who was the victim in your case as a witness was the turning point. To think they'd be able to track down someone involved in a case from well over a year ago. That wasn't all. An unbelievable amount of support has come in from various other places as well. Regardless, the righteous phantom thieves are gone. All that remains is for us adults to lead society in the right direction. Then again, I have to wonder if you believe what I say. I suppose I'll have to do my best so that you can believe in me in full someday. Still, I'm glad I was able to save you in court. I've never felt so happy in my entire life. I'm not quite sure how to put it, but saving your future meant more to me than my own career. I feel like you even taught me how to live. <laughs> That's not true. 
By the way, there's something that's been on my mind. What did the treasure of my world turn out to be? I suppose it doesn't matter now one way or the other. There is... one more thing. I haven't even told Makoto about this, but I realized something after meeting all of you. My most prized treasure is the justice I use to protect those important to me. Makoto helped show me that as well. Once the Shido case is settled, I'm thinking of quitting my job and becoming a defense lawyer. I wanted to reform the system, but I'll have to leave that to someone else. Going forward, I want to enact justice not for myself, but for the sake of others. <laughs> well then, I need to go submit the paperwork for your release. Thank you again for everything you've done. See you later. Oh. Hey, you kept me waiting. Jeez. To be honest, I didn't really want to come. But Futaba just wouldn't stop bugging me. Anyway, you're a free man now, aren't you? And it'd look bad on me if you did something again under my watch. <laughs> All right, let's go home. It's cold, so get in quick. It's not moving at all. Due to the railway incident this morning, widespread delays have impacted the various lines and... Another accident, huh? <laughs> Reminds me of that day back in April. Remember when we went to introduce you at the school? It's almost been a whole year since then. <laughs> Thinking back, that was pretty awful to you. Throwing you in that storage room all by yourself. And again, soon you're gonna be... Made some great friends here. You better thank them when we get back, all right? Whoa! You did it! It has been a while. Not bad. You look fine. I'm glad you seem well. And the best for last, me. So we meet again. It's good to see you. All right, so let's grab a table. I gotta head out and grab some groceries. I'm sure you guys have plenty to talk about. Now we're only missing one last person. She texted me a little while ago that she's finished with practice and heading here. I'm guessing she'll be here any minute now. Sorry I'm late. Senpai. Um, welcome back. All right, that's everyone. Come on, Sumire, take a seat. Man, it went well, yeah? I'm so glad we didn't give up. This was certainly worth the effort. We didn't know what to do once you were gone. But then we realized something. Even if we don't have the metaverse or any other special powers, we can still change reality. If we didn't do that at the very least, we'd be betraying the entire reason we stood up to Maruki. We'll oppose the injustices of this reality with our own strength. That's what we all agreed upon. Ever since then, we've been doing just that. Busting our asses trying to get you out of the clink. Not just us. Everyone who believed in you joined us. Thanks to that, we've got our leader back. What are you talking about? You're the one who took the hit for us. They treated you fine, right? Actually, did you lose some weight? 
It would be understandable. I have heard the food in prison is quite foul. So, uh, what did you eat? Was it bugs? Fermented mackerel? Or maybe durian? You're missing the point. Eh, you're gonna get some good food soon enough, though. Boss is out getting stuff for our party right now. Come on, everyone's back together. It's time to celebrate! <laughs> I guess you really were hungry. Oh, and that wasn't you? Sorry about that. Oh, it was Sumire. Sojiro will be back soon, just to hang in there. Oh, yeah! Uh, sorry for not minding my business. But we heard from Boss, you're going back home next month? Can't you stay here? Sure, we proved you're not guilty, but people are still gonna label you there, aren't they? Ain't it just gonna be uncomfortable going back? What's the matter? We were all so excited a moment ago. How about this? If our leader is leaving, the Phantom Thieves are truly disbanding, correct? Today, we can celebrate his release and commemorate the day of our disbandment. <laughs> what kind of commemoration is that? <laughs> I was serious when I said it. It sounds like a good idea to me. I guess you're right. We just gotta double our excitement for today. About that, there's something I need to tell you guys. I've decided to go with him when he leaves. He's pretty special after all. Plus, we need someone there in case he turns back into a delinquent. Leave it to me. Either way, I want you guys to add my farewell party to the one we're having tonight. I don't know. Is that important? You're not leaving for another month, right? It is far too early for a farewell party. That'll just muddy the purpose of this celebration. Oh, how dare you! Sumire, at least you're on my side, right? Uh, me? Then, what say we call this a second round welcoming party? That's the ticket, my re-welcoming party. Nobody can complain about that. So, for the food at my party, I demand sushi! Sushi! Man, you guys are loud. I could hear you from outside. Chief, they're so mean. <sighs> Noisy as always. Hey, I'm not some normal cat. I can't understand what you're saying to me, you know. Here. No, I would much rather have sushi than something like... Mm -hmm. This is delicious. <laughs> what an assertive little guy. I wonder where he got that from. <laughs> That's just part and parcel of who I am. The one, the only, Morgana. Stop trying to talk so big. You're just a cat now. Shut up. I don't need to hear that from some dumb ape. What was that? It's things like that. You get angry so fast. Oh, and you're vulgar. You little... Why don't you go disappear again? <sighs> Shut up! We're supposed to be celebrating, not fighting! They're at it again. <laughs> you guys never change, do you? Seriously, that weirdo Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? Don't worry. Being weird is just a sign of your individuality. Uh, you don't need to defend him about that. <laughs> well, anyways, we're all here now. Let's kick this party off! Very well. Sojiro, I want sushi! Seriously. Nice.
to bed. You're working at the shop from tomorrow onward, right? Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, hi there. Do you have a minute? Oh, uh, <laughs> you should have just told me. Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. <sighs> Good evening. Thanks. All right. Time for part two of your homecoming party. Yeah, we haven't had any us time in ages. Oh, but first, I can't believe you turned yourself in. It was like you'd disappeared on me. You really scared me, you know? Okay, fine. I forgive you, but from now on, we can beat this stuff together, okay? No matter what you're up against. Okay, that's it. No more heavy stuff. Now, it's the moment you've been waiting for. Chocolate time! <laughs> I bet you were looking forward to this, right? Oh yeah? Then I hope it was everything you imagined. Between everything, I haven't been thinking too hard about it, but this is it, right? Everything's back the way it used to be? Hey, um, I've been doing a lot more modeling lately, and I even get to talk to Shiho sometimes too. That's super encouraging. So, can I sit next to you? You're going home next month, aren't you? <sighs> you don't even know. I'm gonna be so dead out here. Even if we're farther apart than we used to be, our hearts will be as close as ever. Hey, back when this all started, I was just focused on stopping bad guys from hurting people. Like they hurt Shiho. But now... Well... Maybe I've got other stuff on my mind. I've got someone I can save. Well, at least... I can make them happy. And not as Panther, but... As me. On. Take a wild guess. Perfect timing. You've got a guest. Sorry to bother you this early in the morning. I was wondering if you'd like this. There's no obligation, of course. You've helped me through a lot. I wanted to express my appreciation. Sorry for how this is coming off. I didn't mean for it to seem like I'm just dumping my leftovers on you. I'm the one who should be thanking you. So, thank you. 
Well, look at this hot shot. Lucky guy having a gorgeous lady drop by this early just to give you treats. I hope you don't mind that I stopped by today. No doubt you already got some from someone special. I should really be going anyway. Sorry to impose. And this is hardly the end of my debt, of course. Chocolate isn't going to cover all you've done for me. See you around. Hello there. I knew you'd be here. Oh, I don't mean I've been watching you. I just read your fortune. Now that that's cleared up, please take this. It's to celebrate your freedom. And to say thanks for everything you do. If you ever need my power again, all you have to do is ask. I'll always be happy to help you. Sure you want me hanging around? I, I can step out for a bit if you like. No, I'd prefer you stick around. Everyone I owe something to has got to hear this. I'm thinking about moving away. Moving? It's just... a hell of a lot's happened this past year, you know? It's got me thinking about the future, and how I still want to get back on the track team. That's why I want to move closer to a physical rehab facility, get my knee fixed up while going to school. At the earliest, all this is going to kick off starting next month. I see. That is quite sudden. Hmm. On? Actually, I've got some news too. I'm in the middle of looking into studying abroad. Just short term. I've been wondering what would be the smartest move for my career, so... You're moving too. Both Haru and I are looking for places to live on our own, starting next month. In fact, our moves will probably occur around the same time as Ryuji's. I plan to keep learning about the business while also attending college. That's why Mako-chan and I were talking about how we won't be able to get together like we used to. Are you gonna tell them too? Um, so... I passed the entrance exam. I'm gonna be a high schooler starting in April. First high school, then college, then I can finally research cognitive science for real. Even you, Futaba? No, I apologize. I should be wishing you all the best of luck. Nah, you do have a point. We are going our separate ways. Oh. You mean the bonds we all have? <laughs> That's a great point. It seems you're all taking great strides forward. I, however, will not be going anywhere until I've completed my current painting. No matter how many years it takes, I will express this feeling that's grown within me since we first banded together. That's still some kind of stride though, ain't it? No matter what we may go through, or how many times we may stumble, we'll follow the path we believe in. That's what the Phantom Thieves are all about. Stop trying to be such a cool cat. I am not a cat! Yeah, I guess I am. There's still no way I'm accepting Doc's reality, but if it weren't for going through that, I don't know if I would have felt this way now. It's like following through with what I want to do in life. I guess I learned how to really believe in my future. In that case, wouldn't you say Sumire learned the same thing? I mean, she is at training camp right now. Indeed. While her viewpoint may differ from the Phantom Thieves' beliefs, there's still much we can learn from her. Oh, that reminds me. Sumire 
Mary left something with me. She told me she forgot to give us this the other day. Is that a newspaper clipping? Guess it was lying on the ground when we got out of Dr. Maruki's palace. This article! It's the case about Dr. Maruki's loved one. The one whose family was murdered. I'd be willing to bet. This is Doc's treasure. So her case was the origin of Maruki's distortion. Would you hold on to this? We've all got to keep living with our eyes focused on our dreams. Otherwise, Dr. Maruki's gonna give us all kinds of shit. You're absolutely right. <laughs> well, I'm very impressed. You've all become quite mature. So let me throw you a little celebration in honor of the next chapters of your lives. Order whatever you'd like on me. Thank you. Oh yeah! It's all you can eat and drink, people! Uh, uh, huh? Boss, thank you for the generosity. Uh, th that wasn't what I said. Could you at least go easy on me? Oh yeah, are you ready for tomorrow? <laughs> White day, that's tomorrow, right? You got some chocolates on Valentine's Day, didn't you? And White Day's when you return the favor. The men do the gifting. What's your plan? You've at least got some kind of present ready, right? Mm, get it together, kid. Sometimes I don't know if you're fearless or just plain careless. Fine. Listen up, and I'll give you the recipe for the ultimate date. Whoa. The Chief has an ultimate date plan? I better listen in too, just in case. First off, you're gonna need a gift. This won't work without one. Can't go wrong with flowers. Just make sure you buy them before the date. You gotta present them near the end. Surprise her. So you can't let her see you buying them on the date. Got it? Huh. Gotta give them flowers, huh? I gotta take notes. Next, think about where you're taking her. You gotta want somewhere with the right atmosphere. But it's gotta be peaceful. Oh, how about that new aquarium exhibit in Shinagawa? Just saw a commercial for it. Might be a good spot, right? The aquarium's a good place for a date. I see. Now, once the date part's over, you gotta take her out to dinner. Somewhere nice, too. But it's kinda last minute to make reservations. All the fancy places get booked pretty fast around White Day. Okay, right. Too late to make any reservations. Oh, wait! I don't usually do this, but I know a place. Can't guarantee anything. I bet they're full up too. But you might get an edge if you mention my name. Wow, amazing! Chief has connections! So once you're at dinner, you get to talking, enjoying yourselves, and that's when you give it to her. Good, you were paying attention. It's the perfect time to surprise her. That ought to do it.
Just follow the plan and you're safe. Wow, this plan is foolproof. Leave it to the chief. Well, I taught you my secrets. The rest is on you. Do your prep and make those reservations. Good luck. On that note, I'm going home. Now it's up to you. You should start prepping right away. Let's see. The reservation comes first. You remember that restaurant Chief told you about? Thank you for calling, sir. Were you looking to make a reservation? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we're fully booked for tomorrow. White day is crazy, huh? But don't worry. All you have to do is mention the Chief. You're a friend of Mr. Sakura's? My apologies, sir. If you could just hold for one moment. Thank you for your patience. You wanted a dinner course for two on the 14th. We will have a table ready for you. Dang. The Chief has serious clout. Could I ask your name and contact information? Okay. Your dinner plans are locked in. Now you just gotta get the flowers. And then it's off to the aquarium and dinner. It's gonna be busy tomorrow, so we'd better get rest while we can. Today's the day. Let's go get those flowers. I think there was a florist in that underground passage in Shibuya. I tried to keep it as the total comes out, too. Hold on. Let me cover this one. I need to express appreciation for you, too. Thanks for your purchase. Good luck. Okay, now you're all ready for the date. Don't worry. I'm a gentleman who knows his manners. All right. Good luck out there. just happens to be on white day, huh? <laughs> I've actually been kind of looking forward to this. Okay, let me get ready and I'll head over. <sighs> so no wonder they were doing all those TV Oh, check it out! Is that a tuna? And I think that one's a... Man, I must sound like I'm ordering sushi, huh? Uh, sorry, um, I guess I'm a little nervous. I've never been on a date to an aquarium before. Hey, can I ask you something? I was kind of joking on the phone, but is all this really in return for Valentine's Day? <laughs> I'm having a great time. You want to get some dinner after this? Wait, what? Are you serious? Then let's go, I guess. This place is crazy. I'm so nervous right now, I can't even tell. But I know I'm happy to be here. But this is way more intense than I was expecting. You really thought this through, huh? I love a guy who can think ahead. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Give me a sec. Okay, all set. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. What? Hold on. It's so beautiful.
This is... for me? <laughs> Thank you. Wow. The perfect gift with the perfect timing. It feels like I'm in a movie. Insanely happy, duh! I can't believe you went to all this trouble. But when I think about it, it's such a you thing to do. From the day I met you, you've always been so focused on what you can do for everyone around you. Always putting other people first. I really admire that about you. Maybe one day, I can be like that myself. Thanks. I'm gonna put in the work. And one day, you're gonna think to yourself, Man, I'm so glad Ahn's in my life. Then you're gonna think it harder. I'll make sure, whatever happens. I wanna stay with you from now on, okay? Hey, you're finally taking off tomorrow. Sojiro said you don't have to help out here today. Go and see your friends before you leave. Off you go then. Try not to cry. Saying goodbye to me? Cut it out. You're gonna see me tomorrow. Just remember to pack once you get back. I don't want you forgetting anything important here. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised you kept a log this whole time. Thanks, though. I'll keep it safe. Still, a lot has happened. After all, you had quite the side job. Just behave once you're home, okay? Shouldn't you be saying your goodbyes? Go on. Even after we're dead and gone, we'll still be the Phantom Thieves, right? you came. It still hasn't hit me that you'll be gone soon. I'm busy getting ready for my study abroad, too. Gotta research schools, places to live. We're gonna be pretty far away from each other. You'd better keep your phone charged, okay? We're gonna be talking a lot, especially since we'll be so far apart. Hearing your voice will help me feel better. By the way, um... A little girl stopped me the other day in Shibuya. She said she saw me in magazines, and that she wants to be just like me when she grows up. <laughs> it felt incredible. Oh, right. Vague did a special piece on me in this month's issue. I said it all in the interview, but... I'm gonna work hard. One day, I'll be modeling across the world. I've gotta reach people. I wanna give someone hope. Like you did for me. Maybe when you see me next, I'll be a total big shot. Some kind of fancy jet setter lady. <laughs> or maybe not. I swear, I'm gonna become a great woman. One you can't take your eyes off of. So just wait for me, okay?
Oh, so you're finally heading home tomorrow, huh? I guess this means the Phantom Thieves have disbanded. My documentary script is going well, though. It's not really close to done, but it's coming along. Making this a series? I don't know if it'll be that big of a deal. But if I actually get this done, I guess it'd be a waste to stop at one. Makes me wonder how many people I can reach with my work. It's exciting, but kind of scary, too. It might be a bestseller, or it might just fade into obscurity. But I want to put my hope into this. It's a message from the old me to everyone in the world. So, even if I'm scared of failing, I'll face this head on. Just like you did with that first calling card. Oh yeah, it's still a pretty early draft, but... It'd mean a lot if you could read it sometime. You probably had tons of crazy fights I don't even know about, right? So, we should sit down and talk about them sometime. The more of it I get on record, the better. I'll make sure the story of the Phantom Thieves goes down in history. Hey, uh, you're moving tomorrow, right? Don't forget to practice at home. Yeah, whatever happens from now on, I'm going to keep winning, too. If I lose, then I'll deal with it. Oh, right. I returned the money, and he forgave me. We're friends now, and he's even playing gun about with me. He's still a total newbie, so I'm teaching him all the pro strats. Oh, but don't stress. It's not all boot camp this time. I'm going easier on him. Thanks for everything. You've helped me so much. I'm gonna give you my secret weapon. See, that's my strategy. I use this to practice at home, but these days I'm kind of too busy helping mom or playing with my friends. At first, I thought you were kind of weird, but now, uh, you seem pretty cool. So, I'm still your teacher when it comes to games, but you're my teacher in real life. Exactly as the card said. In your current state. But please be sure to relax once you're home. Well, to make up for all the hard work you did here. I've been receiving encouragement from my clients lately. Even though I should be the one encouraging them. Strange, isn't it? But perhaps that's the truest form of fortune telling there is. Mutually encouraging each other to find happiness in a world full of tangled, painful fates. It's the kind of comfort I've always hoped to provide in my readings. Here, this card represents your future. Please take it as a good luck charm. An upright fortune card represents happiness to come, but it's an omen of doom when reversed. But I know you'll carry on with the same conviction you've always had. You are never one to fear the future. That's how you manage to bring joy to any fate. I'm sure we'll meet again. Though, that's not based on any augury. 
just a personal wish. Later. Again, so am I. Don't even have to ask. I was already gonna do that. Spring break is gonna be boring as hell anyway. Wait a sec. Your hometown isn't near the countryside, is it? I was just thinking it'd be great to run and train somewhere out where it's all big nature. Honestly, even with the rehab, I don't know if my leg's ever gonna be how it was before. But when I think about how much I want to run, well... I figure there's no point lying to myself. Nothing's guaranteed. I don't know if I'm gonna get anywhere, but I don't wanna live stuck on regrets or shame. I, I'd rather just run and keep... And hey, you better practice too. See, if... Man, when I think about going to school without you guys, it's nice feeling like I got a future worth looking forward to for once, though. And it's all thanks to you. like you're doing well. I decided to stop by after work. I used to come by this area on occasion. It's tomorrow, right? The day you go home? I appreciate the offer, but I imagine you've got other things to attend to. On the record, you've been cleared of all the crimes you were accused of. Unfortunately, the stigmas that came with them are a little harder to simply wipe away. You might find that even now, sometimes it'll feel like the whole world's a so, just in case. Whenever you need help, I'll be on your side. I'll be doing my part to bring some real justice to our legal... all your goodbyes are you really sh hey um I actually have a present even when I was human I kept holding on to this for some reason between a cat but whatever else I am well then you finished saying your well, how did... I see. I guess you did almost... You're leaving early tomorrow from Shibuya, right? Make sure you pack up before... 
Oh. Don't make fun of me. Huh. Hey, Futaba, what's he saying? Is he sad that he has to leave me? He said so What? What kind of translation is that? Let me have a nice goodbye. <laughs> Mona's your responsibility now. Leave Sojiro to All right, I've been counted on. Even if you're not here, I'll make sure I do my best. So, you go do your best too. Thank you. Hey. You got everything? When I took you in, I thought I was the one helping you. But it turns out it was the other way around. Take care. Don't be so cheeky. Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to have Futaba see you off, too. I haven't been able to find her since this morning, though. Same with that cat. If you end up back in the city, come on by. Oh, wait, that means I can't go closing this door. <laughs> what are you doing? Hurry up and go. Yeah. You over there! Hey, look this way! <laughs> <laughs> after we said hmm? we'd disband. We are all in break after all. No more entrance exams. Hmm. I can drive you to the station. You really, really gotta go? <gasps> Shit. <laughs> They've even followed us here? What should we do? Need a hand? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Dr. Maruki? You're suggesting uh -huh. we split up? <laughs> should we? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! Come and get us! <laughs> <laughs> Shall we then? <laughs> There's no charge. Huh? If you find yourself struggling in life, you can start over, like me. Remember that. So yeah, if that ends up saving you, then we're square. <laughs> Good luck. Hmm. Whoa. Damn, man! Those dudes just wouldn't give up! I wish it went smoother, but hmm? I guess this is it. Be sure to eat well. <laughs> we'll see you. Soon, right? If you don't come back, we'll find you there. Hmm? All right, it's mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Aw, gotta go already? We don't make the train schedule. See you later, <laughs> my dude! I'll text you, okay? Come on, sit down. Oh. Uh. You taught me.
taught me to keep my head up, didn't you? <laughs> Told you I was coming with you. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Take care.
僕らが似